With every day that goes by, multi-streaming just keeps getting easier to actually set on up. If you guys did not know, last week we got ourselves the Atom multi-stream plugin, which makes it so easy to set up and install. We had the original multi-stream plugin, which was kind of a nuisance install, just one made it just a lot better. But you could either use one of them and you'd be awesome and set. The only problem with both of those actual plugins and just multi-streaming in general is having the ability to read all of your chat. So let's say you're streaming to like four platforms, right? You have that four separate tabs open, they actually read chat, which, yeah, you can see how that's a problem and the same thing with the alert feed but the cool thing is there were ways they actually saw this issue that weren't the most easiest thing to set on up however stream elements has released a new actual plugin you can use with the ability to add a multi-chat and a multi-alert feed now there are some problems to it which i'll go over but let's just teach you guys on how to set this on up so the first thing i have to do is download the se live from stream elements now i will have a link to it down below and once you're on this page here all you have to do is click download se live and of course you get a pop-up for it you can just click on this you can run it like so, and it should just be really simple to install. And when you got it on up, it'll get a pop up like this, and we're just gonna speed through it, and you just can say next until it actually loads up properly. It does have some hiccups here and there, but once that's done though, you can actually now load up OBS Studio with actually the plugin installed, which makes this really nice. So once you do have it loaded on up, what you need to make sure to do is log into your Twitch or YouTube. So for me personally, I'm gonna log into my YouTube here, but I recommend you go into your stream elements and make sure to add both of the platforms. Now to make sure all your channels are connected, just make sure to go to actually stream elements page, like I'll link down below, and you just wanna log into one of your main platforms. So for me, I'm just gonna log into YouTube. And once you're logged into actually your dashboard, you wanna go to the top right, your icon, go to into your channel, and then you wanna click on the channel actual settings. So once you have this here, you'll have access to a few different things like your information about what channels you're connected to. As you see my Twitch is already connected, my YouTube. But if you scroll down, you can actually add more platforms. So if you want to add another Twitch, I can add another Twitch, for example, here. Or I can add another YouTube channel or Trovo or Twitter if you stream on Twitter. So we can just set this on up. And then you can just log into another channel. So you can see right here, I've logged into my tech channel now. So now I can see the chat from my main gaming channel, my tech channel, if I ever stream there. Plan to do PC build streams. If you want to see that, let me know by smashing the like button. Uh, and also my Twitch. So yeah, once you're able to add TikTok and kick i think this thing's gonna be absolutely amazing but until then it's kind of limited on its potential i think it's amazing right now but it could be even better once you granted access to it and actually loads properly it should just work perfectly fine now we'll take a second to actually process the information now it might ask to actually set up your stream elements bot or stream labs bot however if you don't have to set up already i wouldn't worry about it unless you want to but we can just leave this for the time being but once you've done that though you get access to some pretty cool stuff first of all on the right here you do have a multi-chat and this multi-chat is really cool because you can select which platforms you want to primarily use you can select your twitch if you're just streaming the twitch maybe one day or you can do youtube and of course you can do all of if you really want to do all of them and see all the chat feed for each platform now they supposedly are working on a way to add tiktok chat and also kick chat so i messaged them on twitter too i'm like yo this is the things that's really good about your plugin here are your weaknesses and they took my feedback really good so hopefully they'll just implement it very soon now besides that though you do have another thing on the left here which is a multi alert feed which you can actually see all the platforms that are connected to you can see here my alerts for my youtube for my gaming channel you can actually see some alerts from my uh twitch because i don't get any twitch follows just follow me on twitch you know what i'm saying but you can see it works perfectly fine now another thing you do need to set up is to make sure you go to your creator dashboard under your settings and actually add the stream elements as a mod by going into community in your settings that way it just has no problems down the line sometimes with these kind of things these plugins you got to make sure they have them perfectly set up so just look up stream elements once you see it, it should be the first one and once you've done that, just make sure to save it and actually your setting so that way it works. But yeah, are you guys gonna download this plugin for yourself? Let me know in the comments down below. If you did find this video helpful, make sure to smash the like button, get subscribed to miss some future tech content. We're almost at like 10,000 subscribers. So thank you everyone who's been supporting the channel. I appreciate you guys so much. And until then, have a great day. Tech Grant out.